Rachel Berenbaum, here today with Jean Kyung Fraser, author of the amazing debut, Pizza Girl. It's packed full of bold and propulsive plots, pizza covered with pickles. Jean, I love the book. Tell me, what is it about? A uh, simple version, it's about a 18-year-old pregnant pizza delivery driver that falls into obsession with this older woman that she delivers to. How do you feel about pizza covered with pickles? I, people got to give it a shot. I haven't had it much, but everyone who's tried it, it gives it a surprising thumbs up. What was the hardest part to write in this book? Um, I struggle with dialogue sometimes. You know, I like it to sound natural. It's funny. It's like to make it sound so natural, it's actually a lot of work, you know, because you have to read it out loud and hear the rhythms, all that sort of stuff. How long did it take you to write Pizza Girl? Uh, idea about three and a half years, actual writing one. And what do you mean when you say idea three and a half years? I had, I'm a first, I'm a line kind of person. I always am coming up with like random lines in my head and I love a good first line. And I delivered pizzas at one point and I knew that it could be fun to do a novel about a pizza delivery person. And when I was thinking about it, the line came, her name was Jenny Hauser and every Wednesday I put pickles on her pizza. So I just had that for a while and that was about it. <laughs> How did delivering pizzas in real life influence the book, Pizza Girl? I didn't really think much about it at the time. It was just like a shitty job I had to make a little extra money. I didn't sleep much. I could do it at night. Um, but I was bartending more in New York when I lived there. And you really think a lot about like the unknowability of people um, and just how easy it is to sort of be a person for a couple minutes at a time, how easy it is to not show parts of yourself. And it sort of just fit with what I was thinking about with the pizza novel. Like, again, it's cinematic. You're opening a door and getting a snapshot of someone's life you know, and you're going to make, have opinions about it, whether you want to or not. So what was the craziest thing you saw when you were delivering pizzas? Hey, the book is fiction, but a lot of the little details I put in were funny things that I saw. Motels always freaked me out. There was always very weird energy at motels, mostly because it's like I was there at night too. Um, you see more, a lot of weird couple stuff, a lot of people inviting you to like maybe party with them or smoke weed, but I think that could also just be like, I was like a 20 year old girl. So I don't know. <laughs> I love Buy the cover. Today for a uh, 24.95. So tell me, where did the idea for that cover come from? I think my editor asked me um, like, what, like, what covers have I liked that have come out in the past couple of years? Send covers of books I like. And there were a few I sent like, you know, but I was also thinking of this t-shirt I had from this pizza place I like in Brooklyn, Roberta's. And so just on a whim, I sent her a picture of my t-shirt. And then she emailed me like a week later and she's like, me and the art director can't get that t-shirt out of our heads. So we found the artist and he's totally down to do your book. Are you cool with that? I was like, yeah, that's amazing. I never thought that that was an option. You know, I love his that. name's Tallboy, by the way. So one of my favorite passages in the book um, involves the uh, teenage mother, Jenny, your main character. Right. Um, she's thinking about parenting, and I guess there's this moment where another character says to her, you're going to look at your life at, at this child, and you're basically going to scream, and you're going to want to run away, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me about that passage? What inspired you? I, I'm really close with my own mother, and I remember when I turned 25, I kind of had like a freak out moment where I was just like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, I am so far behind, I feel like, where it's like she was married at 25. And so I just was like, oh my God, I'm nowhere close to that. And so I called her and I was like, are you worried about me? Do you think that I should be doing more? Like, when will I know what I'm doing? And she's like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And it was just so, uh, you know, it's like, it should have panicked me, but it was very moving because my mom is the most like confident, you know, capable woman I know. And even she still has moments of like doubt. Like that's just, you know, we never really have a moment where we're like, ah, I know everything. Really hit on that fear of, can I actually do this? Can I be a parent? So totally. how did you think about that? How did you capture that? I don't know. I mean, I guess I pulled a little bit from my own worries of parenthood. I mean, I'm nowhere close to it, but like, thank God at the same time too. Like, I don't have to answer the questions that Pizza Girl does, or it's just like, what type of mother am I going to be? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I, I'm definitely not ready. <laughs> do you have any advice for new writers or debut authors? Don't be embarrassed by what you like. Just be ready to own it. Write what you want to write but just be ready to own it. It's as simple as that, you know. Jean, thank you so much for joining me. I'm a huge thank fan. You. I love Pizza Girl. May you sell many, many copies. <laughs> Hell yeah. Enough to keep me in pizza. Today.